Hey guys, this is Hector from the Insert Name FC podcast here to tell you guys about Candy Dips. It is a great tasting, superior alternative to traditional dip using CBD in a way that is radical, enjoyable, and effective. It comes in five core flavors, wintergreen, mint, citrus, mango, and American spice. Candy Dip CBD is the new evolution in dip, allowing guys to enjoy great, long-lasting taste without the downsides. If you guys want to go ahead and try them out, use the code BELLYUP20 at CandidipCBD.com. Once again, BELLYUP20 at CandidipCBD.com, and you'll get yourself 20% off your purchase. Thank you again for Candidips for being a great partner of Belly Up Sports. Also, the other thing I want to throw in for Manchester City, uh, this has really nothing to do with them in any way, but obviously one of their star players, Rodri, potential Ballon d'Or winner. Um, he stated that that they are tired of playing all these games. I have said it, that you are overworking these players. You know, adding more matches isn't the solution for players that are complaining about being overworked. Uh, I think that there is strategies on how to help that out. One, you know, I think the champion, the new Champions League format doesn't help, right? You added two more game, two additional games to what, uh, to what they're playing already. I know that the eight game, the eight game, the two extra games would be beneficial to the teams that, you know, for those pot D, pot C teams, right? Like that gives them a little bit more revenue, more, more uh, streaming, you know, more for from streaming and and all those things. And I'm all for that. But leagues need to learn how to conge, how to stretch out the the season enough for it to be accommodating for the players. And what FIFA needs to do is fi- one. I I've said it. Get rid. Of, don't have the Club World Cup. At least not have it be a summer tournament. Uh, you need to figure out the Club World Cup where it best works for the players. M- making that a small little tournament was fine with me. I was cool with that. But when you're make, trying to make this an, a legitimate World Cup, yes, you're going to overwork players. That's just the fucking rule of thumb. You're Like, players are – all players have been saying – fucking Robert Lewandowski's even said it. You're playing too many games. We need to rest. We need to have an off season. All those things, players have said it multiple, 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 multiple times. And FIFA's just like, fuck you, give me money. You know? And, and so I think that – uh, what Rodri essentially is saying that players will strike if this doesn't get addressed. And um, kind of how we're talking about Man City, if they get a big, big enough punishment, you know, clubs will listen. As much as I don't want to miss football, I love watching soccer and all those things. You got, the players are important. The players are. The the game isn't the game without the players. It's just not. There has to be a way for FIFA to get their money, but at the same time have the well being of the player into consideration. Yes, there's there's things that managers can do, which is rotating the squads out. Um, but I mean, at one point, you're gonna have to start playing your starting eleven once you get deeper into this club World Cup. You know, when you go into deep into, you know, going once you're in the knockout stages of Champions League, you got to go full sin on the Champions League. Um, you know, if you go far in the Carabao Cup, if you go far in the FA Cup, you're going to start throwing in, you know, once you're playing other Premier League teams, you're going to start playing your starting 11. The question is, how do you rotate that, right? How do you How do you make that all work? And it's honestly just a really tricky question because there's no – Clear cut way to do it, besides just cl- federations and and FIFA finding a format that works for the players for the season to to still be one be played, but two with the with with my with within the minds of making sure that the players are are getting the rest that they need that are take able to recover from injuries, you know, cause pl- you're going to, there's, in, p- there's players that are playing through injuries throughout the season as well. And so like, how do you, how do you help them out? How do you make, how do you alleviate them, giving them more rest? And I think that that's going to be the challenge that uh, 
all the leagues in the world are going to have to deal with, especially as we as we get closer to another summer that potentially is going to feature a club World Cup, a full fucking World Cup, like a legitimate World Cup where group stages and, and knockout rounds are going to happen. Like, that is what's going to happen, uh, at least what FIFA thinks is going to happen. I think FIFA just needs to remove that tournament. Remove that tournament because, honestly, despite that, I don't think there's any other real tournament that's happening that summer. Uh, maybe maybe Gold Cup, um, but there's there's no Euro, there's no Copa America, uh, there's nothing, right? And so, yeah, it, it's a tricky situation. I think I think it's great that Roger wants to speak out on it. I think it's a hundred percent great that Roger wants to speak out on it, and and put his voice out there, being that you know he's potentially the guy that's gonna win the ball in the or, um, you know, it, 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 you, people listen, people listen to those name to those guys, but we'll see what happens, man. I'm really intrigued. Has this has nothing to do with Manchester city's charges. This, this is just another thing that was thrown out that, uh, like I said, involves Manchester city. Um, I, 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 I hope players are, are all in a, in a front on this because I will tell you if the, the big names, you know, and I, I know, and there's other players that have other stands. Like obviously, uh, Vinicius is having his battle with with the racism that's getting that's getting thrown to him in La Liga, and he's talking about potentially walking out of a match if that ever come comes to be a situation, which I'm all for. I think that that is another thing that needs to be that cannot be tolerated uh, is the racism that some of these players get get are received in these matches. So those are things that needs to be. Uh, address and I think players do have a voice and they have a right to have a voice. I don't like that people keep saying like, "Oh, they just need to tough it out, <laughs> tough it out." And I know this has nothing to do with the the. Actually, I'm sure some people will complain to them about them complaining about playing so many matches, like, "Oh, just shut up and, pl- and just shut up and play." Like, nah, dude. Like they're human beings too. Like they need rest. They need. They want to see their families. You know, th- those are things that matter. And same thing with Vin- with Vinicius situation. Yes. It, people, you know, people heckle you. They're just going to heckle you for other, for a lot of reasons. But like, yeah, we're, we're, it's 2024 and we're still talking. Like, this has been an ongoing issue for years of players are getting rate, you know, racially slurred in matches by the fans. And it still hasn't been addressed. It hasn't been there hasn't been a big enough pun kind of going there hasn't been a big enough punishment to get fans to stop doing it. There hasn't. And, and I and, and like I'm fine with players speaking out on issues. I've I, I I don't have a problem with it. My only thing is that make sure make sure you're knowledgeable of it because I don't want these players to go and start speaking on these things, not knowing what they're talking about, because then it hurts their cause. So that's when I tell people like. I have no problem with people speaking out on issues. Just make sure you're knowledgeable. Make sure you, you know, make sure your stance is very locked in. Make sure that you have, there's no way that people can find, find a little chink in your armor of your statement, you know, because people are going to criticize you. Look what happened with Colin Kaepernick in the NFL, right? He was, um, whether or not how you feel about, exactly the reasoning behind why he decided to stand for it but uh i mean yes he he's there was moments where he he did sound very much informed but then there was moments where i was just like i don't know how well informed you are on this on this issue that's just me that's just me but i still stood i still supported what colin kaepernick was doing at least initially um clearly kind of i haven't heard from him since so i don't know how strong that stance was but Kind of going back to to American football, to fo- football, football, you know, our our football. I think Rodri made a very strong stance. He's knowledgeable about it. He's he's talking about how the players are being overworked, which is a, a a thing that everybody's been saying. As long as you know what you're talking about and can and can say it, and there's no way people can try to, yeah, but uh, kind of thing. Then uh, then I'm I'm good with players speaking on matters. It's the ones that just don't sound 
uh, informed that I'm just like, God, I, you know, like just go do some research and come back kind of thing. You know, I'm not telling them, that, I'm not telling them shut up. I just want them to be informed, you know, sound, you got, if you're going to speak on an issue, make sure you know what you're talking about. Just period. Because if you, if the thing is like when a player, especially an athlete, if they don't sound like they know what they're talking about. It, it it just hurts their cause, right? It hurts it hurts their image and it hurts their cause because some people are just like, oh, he's doing just doing it just to get attention. And I don't want that to happen. I want it to be that this guy knows what he's talking about and has been very uh well ha, has has done a very good job at expressing his frustrations. And so that's what I want to see for the sanctity of the game.